Let's talk about the easiest way to make money in photography. And I'm gonna give you two different scenarios here, short term, long term, because they're two very different plays. Now, I went through the hustle years of photography like most of us. I didn't jump into a career, have an agent, shoot a wide, wide campaign and go, brilliant, I'm Johnny Rainbow, let's go for it. That is not how my career went. There were years of hustling and I learned how to make a lot of money very quickly. I also how learned how to make a lot more money over a long period of time. Now you're probably not going to expect this to be the answers that you might want to hear, or at least it's, it's probably going to be something you're not wanting to do. But the quickest way I ever found to make money was headshot sittings. And here's how I used to do them. You can copy this for free. It's a nice, easy way. You go and sign into something like Eventbrite. You go and schedule headshot sittings at 30 minute intervals. If you don't have a studio, rent a village or whatever it may be. You do cheap headshots, 50 pounds a pop is what I used to do, 30 minute sittings, they book themselves in, it's all automated, you get them in, you get them out. Everyone gets the same lighting set up, the same background, the same lens, the same color grade. It is a bish bash bosh, send them on their way. You advertise it in the local entrepreneur groups on Facebook, the local areas, whatever it may be. That has always been a great one for me. That and doing family portraits at Christmas time. We do one day for family portraits. We make a nice little set and we'd bash through them. Now, obviously, that has nothing to do with my current commercial career at all. And it's also not sustainable. This is what you can do if you need a quick injection of cash. You need to quickly make a grand. That's a good way to do it. A couple of those and you're on your way. Now, the long-term goal is very different. In the UK, there are 74,000 people doing a tax return for photography this year with an average salary of £24,000. That is not a lot of money. A bit of Googling for photo agents and then looking at how many photographers there might be, I calculate there might be 104 photographers with an agent. Now, there'll be the few successful wedding photographers and whatever else in there, but take this as a, as a broad, this is a bit of bro science for you. 74,000 photographers not making much money, 100 with agents, they must make a decent amount because an agent lives off 20% commission, so it needs to work. And then probably another 100 doing different genres that also make good money. So there's probably 200, 250 of us. That's not a great hit rate. That is, you've probably got more chance of playing for a professional football team as a ratio, but money is there to be made. And the long-term money is made in a very different way to that short-term money. It is made, and photographers hate to hear this, by having an original point of view. It's not made by lighting setups. It's not made by camera gear. It's not made by fancy post-production or the latest presets. It's made by original ideas. There is a sea of photography out there, a sea of it. You can just... You're a drop in the ocean, you really are, especially if you start looking at places like Instagram and you're out there in the world and there's just millions of them. If your work is not different, it will not get seen. You must have original ideas. And the problem with this is it takes a while to be found. Most people give up too soon, which is why they don't make it as a long-term career. It's very hard to make a living being one of those 74,000 people in the UK making 24 grand a year. There's a lot more beneath that who don't even get to do the tax return. To make it to that long-term thing, you have to be doing regular test shoots, regular creative work. You have to constantly be questioning your perspective of the world, how you see the world. You need to be absorbing artwork, absorbing creativity, and most importantly, shooting things that you're not seeing other people shooting. Just completely ignore the trending colour, ignore the smashed avocado on toast of a few years ago. Do it in a way that you've not seen before that is authentic to you. And this is why it's so hard. It's very easy to go. I have learnt an eight-point lighting setup, how to use a tilt-shift lens, and I also now know how to avoid diffraction by using some swing on the lens of a bellows camera. That's very easy. There's a clear tick, you've done it. Learning to be creative, not so easy. Learning to have authentic ideas, not so easy. And that is where the time is spent. I spend 50% of my working life doing creative work, doing test shoots, doing things that never see the light of day, reading magazines. I, I just used this for previous video, but like this is the only photography I consume is the British Journal of Photography. Nothing else comes in from photography. Everything else comes from outside of my world of photography and comes from different genres, different areas, different people, different things. If I just consume photography, 
I will never long term become a photographer. You have to bring in things from outside of that world if you want to be successful. It is the only way. I don't know a single photographer who is successful, who lives with blinkers on in the photography world. They all draw in from outside to create something new. And that is what I would challenge you to do with your 2023.